Welcome to Token Topics. A lot of excitement is going on for the XRP community right now as XRP Las Vegas event was a success. And Brad Garlinghouse is one busy man as he's now in Dubai for the FinTech Summit. We will look into that. Also, XRP could reach $27 soon. Only time will tell. A chart analyst seems to think it's possible. We'll look into that and more. If you're an XRP fan, please hit the like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm also not sponsored by Ripple. Keep your crypto safe with a decent biometric wallet. It's what I use to keep my crypto safe. With talks about cyber attacks or exchanges going down, it's imperative to keep your assets safe. Purchase one through Token Topics and receive a discount. I'm going to put the affiliate links in the description below. XRP Las Vegas event was indeed a success. I'm sure most of you already know about the big event that was recently held this past weekend. There were so many different people there, and Brad Garlinghouse stole the show and gave his support to the XRP community. The XRP Las Vegas event was a two-day conference exclusively presented for members of the XRP community by Digital Perspectives founder Brad Kimes. The organizers of the event have dubbed it the XRP Army's Conference of a Lifetime and hope it will eventually become the XRP community's equivalent of Bitcoin Miami. And there was prominent figures there from the XRP community, including attorney John Deaton. There's also attorney Jeremy Hogan and other big speakers. Brad Garlinghouse, he took to Twitter to show his support. He states, great to meet so many folks from the XRP community at XRP Las Vegas 2023. The camaraderie is remarkable and an amazing feeling in person versus Twitter. This community has stood by and supported Team Ripple as we have fought the good fight and I can't adequately express my gratitude. Now I want to show you this clip where Brad Garlinghouse makes a statement to the XRP community. Look, I've said to a bunch of you as I have met a number of you tonight, I'm here to thank you. And I appreciate that you're thanking me, but I'm here to thank you for all that you have done to support this effort. Truly, it does take an army. And this army has been incredible in support. We're going to win this thing. Yeah! News that broke out late last week was that Coinbase met with Ripple, which is definitely good news. Most likely they're going to team up, provide information and so on to help each other out. But there was a rumor going around that XRP could be relisted, but most likely that's probably not going to be the, the case. John Deaton took to Twitter and he replied to Bill Morgan, who is making a statement about somebody who's thinking that XRP will follow and be on Coinbase soon. Um, so Bill Morgan, he states that no, a Coinbase XRP listing will not follow. Why would Ripple expect Coinbase to relist XRP when in the last few weeks Ripple decided not to use XRP in Ripple's own liquidity hub service? The meeting was more likely about how Ripple could assist Coinbase in either its positions. Now, and also John Deaton replied to that. So Bill's point below is a significant one. Ripple isn't letting XRP on its own liquidity hub platform until there is much more regulatory clarity in the U.S. specific to XRP. So much depends on what Judge Torres decides. This is the main reason why we fought so hard to be involved. This is crazy. U.S. governments may freeze American bank withdrawals. This is so surreal. A lot of us content creators have been stating this for a couple of years now that we're going to be seeing an economic disaster. We're going to see bank failures, the death of the dollar, governments going crazy. And that's literally what we're seeing right now. And most have no clue what's going to happen. Hedge fund manager and macroeconomic expert Hugh Hendry just issued a warning on the U.S. banking system and the American economy as a whole. In an interview on Bloomberg Markets, Hendry says mass panic and capital flight away from the U.S. banking sector is entirely justified. Hendry says a further decline in the M2 money supply 
which in part tracks money in liquid checking accounts, could convince the U.S. government to step in and prevent citizens from taking their capital out of the banking system. Henry quotes here that sometimes it's kind of relevant to panic. I would recommend you panic. You've seen the biggest waterfall decline in M2 right now. M2 is deposits, not loans. That's the deposits fleeing the system and going into money market funds. If you want to read through the article, I'll put the link to this down below, but check this out. He states that we're at the point where the Fed and Treasury officials, I'm sure, are having to consider to gate a lock on U.S. bank deposits. XRP to $27, says Edgrag Crypto. He's created a new chart called the Bermuda Triangle chart. And if you see my latest XRP video, I showed you the Kaboom chart. So let's go ahead and look at what the Bermuda Triangle is. So this chart, the Bermuda Triangle chart, is a combination of previous charts and key factors stated by Ed Gregg on previous XRP charts. He states that the XRP price will disappear from the Bermuda Triangle and will never be seen within the triangle. The first arc stands at $0.60, cents, the third at $1, and the seventh at $27. Ed Gregg suggests that XRP has to conquer each arc point to reach $27. EGRAG sets XRP's clearing price at $1.90. The clearing price is the equilibrium fiat value of an asset at which the number of buyers equals sellers. Simply put, XRP's clearing price is the price at which asset demands equals supply. Now, after we receive a settlement, or if we win, or whatever is going to happen with this lawsuit, and we're leading into the next bull run, Definitely, I see XRP hitting this price. But please put your thoughts and opinions down below. Now, this is exciting. And Brad Garlinghouse is a very busy man. He flew all the way from XRP Las Vegas to attend a Dubai Fintech Summit. He's nonstop. And as you can see, he's pictured here with Doug Brooks. And Doug Brooks took to LinkedIn to post his picture and state that the power of X with Brad Garlinghouse at Dubai Fintech Summit, he had the pleasure of talking with his team about CBDCs, the future of money, and also the creation of an X index. And he states that what an exciting space to be in right now. And it's very exciting to see uh, two important people from both of these blockchain projects pictured together. That is impressive. So what is Ripple doing in Dubai? Ripple CEO weighs in on company expansion to Dubai. So today was the first day of the 2023 Dubai Fintech Summit. It kicked off on May 8th today and featured Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse as a keynote speaker. And Garlinghouse made a major announcement during his presentation that caught everyone's attention. The CEO, who was present at the Dubai Summit to share his insights on crypto utilities and stance on regulators, had also taken the opportunity and platform to announce the company's expansion plans. I've been keeping a close eye on Dubai, and it really is becoming a hot spot for crypto innovation. So he took to Twitter to state, as I just shared on stage at Dubai Fintech Summit, Ripple is expanding in Dubai with 20% of their customers based in MENA and clear regulatory regimes being developed. It's no surprise that Dubai is emerging as a key global financial hub for crypto innovation to thrive. And another one of my favorite projects, the XDC Network, has really laid some groundwork in Dubai. And here's some of the key takeaways from the FinTech Dubai Summit and everything that Ripple has been working on. So we have FinTech startups should focus on innovative business models and improved customer experience. Regulators should embrace innovation and regulatory compliance should itself become more innovative. Additionally, the relationship between regulators and FinTech companies should be more collaborative. Web 3.0 allows for the tokenization of various assets such as real estate, art or intellectual property, and AI and blockchain are two of the biggest disruptors to any industry. Managing Director of South Asia and MENA, Navin Gupta, joined Couchnomics with Arjun Podcast to discuss the importance of interoperability and collaboration between different blockchains and financial inclusion and more. So Navin Gupta on solving cross-border payments with Ripple. 
institution A sends cross-border payments to institution B, like today we use US dollar. So exactly in this case, GBP gets converted to XRP, XRP into Philippines peso, but XRP is taken from the public chain, right? The reason XRP is used is because it's most suitable for payments, because it takes two to three seconds, it's extremely fast, and it's uniquely suited for a cross-border payment. Cross-border payments sometimes can be between two to 7% of the principal value. That means if you're sending 200 US dollars, 14 US dollars will be taken away between these, uh, between these costs. And the biggest cost is liquidity cost. In the case of uh, using ODL, on-demand liquidity, the solution that's started by Ripple, there is zero Nostra account balances that are required. I want to... Now, if you'd like to check out the full video, it's in the description below. Last but not least, businesses are discovering how blockchain and crypto technology can solve massive pain points. Ripple's SVP of Global Customer Success, Brooks and Whistle, dives into the ways businesses are leveraging crypto. Businesses leveraging crypto. Hi, my name is Brooks and Whistle, and this is Crypto in a Minute. In these high growth markets where we operate every day at Ripple around the world, businesses are finding out that blockchain and crypto technology can actually solve massive pay points for them. They can place suppliers faster. They can solve treasury operations better. They can pay their people more reliably. That is something that traditional finance has not been able to do for them, especially when they operate across multiple countries in different geographies and in some very emerging markets. This technology, our ability to move value across borders that Ripple's been doing from the very beginning for 10 years, provides that solution for these businesses. We're seeing the uptake very quickly, uh, and we're excited about that. We're delivering into it, and our field teams are out there every single day finding more and more business opportunities uh, and customers to prove this. Finance is always moving. But is it really moving forward? Or is it just stuck in the same old cycle? Crypto solutions are transforming finance, making it faster and more efficient than we ever thought possible. Moving us all into a dynamic new era. Ripple, crypto means business.